Hello everyone, this is Aaron again. I'm coming back with a follow-up video on something I posted a few weeks ago when I talked about this uh, filter, this oil and water filter that I, I had purchased for my Young Hens compressor. If you watched that video, if you didn't watch the video, what happened was uh, I explained that uh, I get a, I'd gotten a number of comments that said this uh, system could be putting oil and water into uh, tanks and guns. I checked around with some people I know that owned this and I had owned this one for a year and I didn't see it as a problem. But since it had been brought up I said hey I better address it because if it is a problem and I'm not aware of it I at least owe it to those people out there to make them aware of it. That there's a solution to it I should say. So in looking around, and I searched all over the internet trying to find what is a really, really good low price way of taking care of the oil and water that may be present in this system, and it probably is present in this system to some extent, uh, because after all this thing has oil in it, and it uses air, and all air has moisture in it. And I found this, this particular one, and you can go to my other video and talk about that, and look at the price and where I found it, and that sort of thing. All the information is there, but there's no point and me re readdressing that. What I want to talk about is the system I've now come up with to make sure that this system works well and keeps that problem from your guns and from your tanks. So basically what I've done here is this. I've, this is a Christmas tree stand, but you can use anything that's going to keep this thing upright. As I said in that video, it's very, very important, I found, to keep this thing upright. The reason you need to have it upright is because the moisture needs to collect in the bottom of this. And the molecular sieves and other things up here that are designed to keep the water out of your system work better when this air is as dry as possible. So as this thing absorbs moisture, that moisture then needs to be released out of us. It just stays there until next time and it builds up and builds up and pretty soon you're just shooting, shooting the air right past and it's not doing, being effective at all. So let me just talk about how I've decided to do mine and maybe it'll work for you too if you decide to follow this course. Stay in. Put this in an, upright, in an upright position so that everything travels up and out and into your tank or into your gun. One thing that's very, very important to me is this, is this first, I'll call it the first stage filter. This first stage filter is the only filter I was using up until now. And when taking it apart, I did notice that it was, it was filtering the oil to how, how well, I don't know, but it was filtering the oil and it was filtering the water because this thing was damp. Okay, so I noticed what this, this was happening, but in this new system, what I want this to do is, I want this to be primarily to take care of oil, to make sure no oil gets into the system. So it's got a cotton ball in there, one of these here. You have to change these out every so often. Um, but that's in there to, to block the oil, and, and put this back together real quick. And in doing that, I also put one of the cotton in the bottom of here to be a secondary filter for catching the oil. Then all the rest of it is dedicated to catching the water before it goes flows into the system. Now let me tell you how best to keep the water out of your system now, the way this will work. Okay, the, um, it's going to be a task like this. You're going to start your compressor up. You're going to have it hooked to your source, of course, uh, what you're filling. And when you finish filling it, this is going to all be pressurized to whatever the point. Let's just say, uh, I, do, I, I never go past 3,500 on mine. It says 4,000, but I'm just saying I'm not going to stress the system that much. I can feel this thing whenever I want to. So 35 is more than enough for me. So I feel it 35 PSI, 35, uh, uh, 100 PSI. Now when I get ready to purge the system, I'm going to purge it from right here. And when I turn this, all this back pressure up here is going to shoot down. And force, hopefully, this water that's down here, water that's in here, down this chute and, and out. Okay? So that's going to be the first step in keeping the oil uh, the water out of your system. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to detach this. And when you detach this, two things are going to happen. One, you're going to allow this, any moisture that's in there, to drain down and come out of this tube and drip out. So that's going to take care of the moisture in the system. Then you want to screw this off. And you either want to let it sit like this or you want to go in and actually take this cotton, this piece of cotton out. I would just let it sit like this and leave it like that until my next field. Okay, so while this thing is just sitting there, not being used, the water is being purged by gravity. Here it's going to be, hopefully it's going to condense and go into the air. When I come back to fill up my gun the next time, 
Got to give me a checkpoint on this. I can look at this to see if it's turning brown. If it is, I know it's saturated with oil and maybe I need to put a new one in. So I can, I can visualize that at, at every fill. Screw this back together. Pop it on here. Start the system up. Power it up. Go through the same steps. Depressurize, shooting the water out. Take this off, let the water drip. Take this off, ball, this off. Let it evaporate, and my system is going to stay dry. I think this is a very, very good system. Uh, I found this. All these are parts from my garage, so I didn't pay anything for this. Of course, I think this was about $100, I said in my last video. And so for 100 bucks, you're all set, and you know that you're going to save from oil and water. And I think that that's, that's a good thing uh, just to assure yourself that, especially if you can assure yourself that for 100 bucks. So that's the video that I wanted to do on this to give you an update of where I am with it. And I think I'm now totally satisfied with this system. And let me just say this, uh, I've had a couple of videos of people kind of still questioning the quality of this or questioning the use of this. I just want to say, go back to the video uh, and, look at the, and, 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 and please read under that video people who had this thing for three years, two years, had no problem with water, had no problem with oil to their knowledge. That... That, that came back with comments about how great this thing is. I've had this for a year with no problem. Uh, for 200 I think I paid $229 for it. For $229, I take this all day long. Now, there are people out there, if you want to question this quality, and you think that there, and there are a lot, of, a lot of them out there, even more coming out now, you know. They got the Omega, you can get that for 1500 and you got others out there that run around 1800 and up there. And they work very, very well, but I guarantee you, no matter which system you get, you're going to have to deal with the same thing right here, water and oil. They got water in the air and they got oil in the system. If you're on a budget like me, this is the best system. Under $350 and you're set to go. So again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I want to thank those guys of you who subscribe and those who comment. And I hope to be coming to you with another video very soon. So again, thank you for your time. Let's keep it safe. Let's keep on having fun with this thing. Passing on the knowledge we do have to each other. Thank you.